I'm going to shift gears one more time on you, and I'm going to let you decide if you even want to answer this question. But Cactus Pryor, how do you want people to remember you? Well, I hope they uh, will, may, will remember, remember me as um, a fellow who might have given them a laugh or two, and maybe even urge them to think about things, too. Uh, mostly I want to be remembered as the, the father of, of Paul and Harry and Dane and Don, because we're very much a family. You've managed to go through life with so much humor. You have got a funny wit about you about just a simple conversation and saying hello to you. Is there anything behind that? Can you find something in life that, that brought that to you? Or how, how did you manage to develop that? I lived in a house full of crazy people. <laughs> Dad was an old vaudevillian. He was a song and dance man. And I can remember the first joke I've ever heard. And that was at Baker School. And there was a geography teacher, Mrs. Hall, who was more than rotund. And Dad was entertaining at the school. And he said, Mrs. Hall told me that she would give her half her life for a watermelon. So I bought her two. I'm poor in math, but I understood that one. And his mother, Grandma Pryor, had a crazy sense of humor. She'd put on big hats and make faces and always had a story to tell. And there was a lot of laughing to keep him from crying because depression years and personal problems. Uh, laughter was our relief and our release. And I still get a kick out of making people laugh. Yeah. My wife will tell me every now and then, go do a show somewhere. You got a bad humor, go do a show. And it works, depending on the audience, of course. I guess that's one of the reasons I love old Liz Carpenter so much, too. We, we trade jokes and we do a little co-writing from time to time. All three of you, Liz Carpenter, yourself, Lady Bird Johnson, have a special quality about you that have made you legendary figures in this community. What do you think people can get from your life and from Liz Carpenter's life and Lady Bird Johnson's life that will help people for generations to come. What do you think we can gain from your life? I don't know if I can gain a, a thing from my life. I, I hope, if anything, don't loosen up. Loosen up. Because there's always going to be tension. You're always going to have obstacles. You're always going to have pain. But uh, loosen up and laugh a little bit, too. Uh, because there is humor in almost every, even in tragedy, there's humor. And uh, it, would serve, it would serve you well. Thank you very much. And you did some thinking on this, didn't you? Yes, sir, I did. <laughs> and I that doesn't you always do some happen. thinking, too, didn't I? <laughs> you didn't know what you were in for today. No, I didn't. <laughs> I got the feeling that you're saving this from part of, part of it from my eulogy, too. That's all right.